This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at Markovnikov's rule. Markovnikov's rule can be used to predict the major product when a hydrogen halide reacts with an asymmetrical alkene. In this reaction, we have butuene reacting with hydrogen chloride to produce 2-chlorobutane. Butuene is a symmetrical alkene. Therefore, when it reacts with a hydrogen halide, there's only one possible product which is 2-chlorobutane. Here we have the reaction between butuanine and hydrogen chloride. Butuanine is an asymmetrical alkene. So when butuanine reacts with hydrogen chloride, there are two possible products. They are 1-chlorobutane or 2-chlorobutane. So next we look at how to use Markovnikov's rule to predict the major product. The example we look at is propene, which is an asymmetrical alkene. So when propene reacts with hydrogen bromide, there are two possible products. They are 1-bromopropane or 2-bromopropane. In 1-bromopropane, the hydrogen of the hydrogen bromide has bonded to carbon number 2 in propene. In 2-bromopropane, the hydrogen of the hydrogen bromide has bonded to carbon number 1. So next, we look at which is the major product. Markovnikov's rule states that when an asymmetrical alkene reacts with a hydrogen halide, the hydrogen adds to the carbon atom that is already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens. So in our first reaction, when hydrogen bromide reacts with propene, the major product is 2-bromopropane. According to Markovnikov's rule, the hydrogen atom of the hydrogen bromide bonds to carbon number 1, which is already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens. In our second reaction, when butuanine reacts with hydrogen chloride, the major product is 2-chlorobutane. According to Markovnikov's rule, the hydrogen atom of the hydrogen chloride bonds to carbon number 1, which is already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens. Next, we look at the explanation. So we'll start by looking at the reaction between propene and hydrogen bromide in more detail. So hydrogen bromide is a polar molecule. The hydrogen atom, because it has a positive dipole, is attracted to the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. So here we can see the hydrogen bromide molecule with a positive dipole on the hydrogen and the negative dipole on the bromine. Next, the hydrogen-to-bromine bond breaks heterolytically, forming a bromide ion. At the same time, the hydrogen atom bonds to one of the carbon atoms, forming a carbocation. So here we can see that the hydrogen atom has bonded to the carbon atom that is already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens. This results in the formation of a carbocation. Finally, the bromide ion bonds to the carbocation, forming 2-bromopropane. So the bromide ion uses one of its lone pairs of electrons to form a bond with the carbocation. The major product of the reaction is 2-bromopropane. The major product depends on the stability of the carbocation formed in the reaction. If the major product is 1-bromopropane, this involves the formation of a primary carbocation. And if the major product is 2-bromopropane, this involves the formation of a secondary carbocation. The primary carbocation is less stable than the secondary carbocation. The order of stability is, primary carbocations are the least stable, and tertiary carbocations are the most stable. So the major product will be 2-bromopropane because of the greater stability of the secondary carbocation. Next, we look at the stability of carbocations in more detail. So in the previous slide, we saw that, in terms of stability, primary carbocations are the least stable, and tertiary carbocations are the most stable. So from left to right, we have increasing stability. Carbocations are stabilized by electron-donating alkyl groups. If we look at a primary carbocation, it only has one alkyl group. A secondary carbocation has two alkyl groups. And a tertiary carbocation has three alkyl groups. The positive charge on the carbon atom is stabilized by these alkyl groups. Therefore, the more alkyl groups, the greater the stability of the carbocation. This is known as the positive inductive effect. So to summarize, the more substituted the carbocation, the greater the stability.